Okay, in this video, we are going to build an object direction sensor. And this is my little circuit here. It has one IC, a CD4093 Schmidt trigger NAND gate. Now this sensor is optical. It has two phototransistors. We'll call this one phototransistor A, and we'll call this one phototransistor B. Now there's two status LEDs. The one on the left will pulse when the object moves from A to B. And the LED on the right will pulse when the object moves from B to A. So I have a light source and I'll turn it on and the object will be the handle of my screwdriver. So when I move it from A to B, you watch the left LED pulse. So I'll turn on my light and I'll move it from A to B. You can see it pulse. Now if I go from B to A, you can see the right LED pulse. So now I have a circuit that can monitor the direction of an object. Now this circuit was originally designed to monitor the activity of a bumblebee nest box. So the output of the two LEDs can be fed into an up-down counter. So when the left LED comes on, it will increment the counter. When the right LED comes on, it will decrement the counter. So when a bumblebee enters the box, it will incre increment the counter. And when a bumblebee leaves the box, it will decrement the counter. So with this circuit, we can monitor the activity of a bumblebee nest box. Now the most important thing that bees do is pollinate. Now pollination is needed for plants to produce, especially fruit trees. Now my parents had a cherry orchard in the interior of British Columbia, Canada in a little town called Asuyas. And my dad had honeybees to pollinate the cherry trees. Now we use honeybees to pollinate the blueberry fields. Now trees that are visited more often by bees will produce larger and better quality fruit and a higher yield. Now there's another bee called the bumblebee and it also is used for pollination. Now the bumblebee could pollinate plants that a honeybee cannot because it's a lot stronger and it's a lot bigger. Now bumblebees make their nests in the ground or in hay bales or in bird feeders. So people take these nests and put them in a nest box. So this circuit that I'm building monitors a nest box to, to check out the activity of the nest because an active nest is a healthy nest. Okay, let's have a closer look at this circuit. Now there are four states to the circuit. Now state number one is when both phototransistors are receiving light. State number two is if I block the right hand phototransistor. State number three if I block both phototransistors. And state number four is if I block the left hand phototransistor. Now on state number four, the status LED will pulse, the one on the right, the decrement, that will decrement the counter. So we could do that, I'll, I'll put on my light source, and we'll go through the four states, and we can watch the right hand LED flicker. You can see it come on, indicating a decrement of the counter. Now if I go to state 2 and come back, nothing happens. If I go to state 3 and come back, nothing happens. Now if I go to state 4, watch the LED blink. But now if the bumblebee changes its mind and comes back, watch the left LED. It blinked. It corrected itself. So it incremented the counter. So now we have the correct count in the nest. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my object direction sensor that I built on my breadboard. So for all you electronic students out there, I'll let you figure out how this circuit works. You can figure out the logic. Be a good exercise. I'll give you some hints. See at the very left are my phototransistors. Now when light is hitting the transistors, the collectors will be at uh, digital zero, so it'll be zero volts. And when you block the transistor, the collectors will go high. You notice I'm using all four of the Schmidt trigger NAND gates in the 4093 IC. And these two here are cross-coupled, so we have yourself a little RS flip-flop. And this RC network here determines the pulse width of the LED flash. And these two NAND gates are driving the LEDs. So as we move our, our object uh, by the phototransistors, we'll get the pulses coming out of our LEDs. Okay, now you know how this object direction sensor works. So all I did was mount the two phototransistors into the entrance hole of the bumblebee box. But you can use it for any other application where you want to detect an object direction. Now I also built this project using a microcontroller. So I was wondering how would you tackle this problem if you were given the assignment? Would you use a microcontroller or would you use digital logic? So where would you draw the line? So I'd be kind of curious. So in the comments below, put down either microcontroller or digital logic. And I think other viewers would be interested to see where other people draw the line to use a microcontroller or, or just digital logic to solve a problem. So put that in your comments below. There's no wrong answers, and thanks for watching.